what happened with 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 Russ and Pete? Why did it? I mean, because it seemed like a match made in heaven. I mean, they spend y'all spend big money to get Matt Flynn from the Packers. Russ comes in. I think Russ is a third round draft pick. Mm-hmm. He wins the job. Matt Flynn never sees the field. It was it's perfect. Everything it seems like a match made in heaven. Right. And then we see the abruptness. Maybe Russ feels that Pete is holding him back because it was all about the Legion of Boom. Maybe Pete said, "Well, there's some slippage, and we're not going to give you that massive contract." What, ha- what to your from your expert opinion? You played in Seattle. You know Russ. You know Pete. What happened with that relationship? Man, you <laughs> look, man. I'm gonna tell you straight up. I'm, I'm, I'm not the. I wouldn't be the the, the right person to to speak on their relationship because. I didn't like. I didn't. I didn't fuck with him. You feel what I'm saying? So you didn't mess with who? I didn't fuck with with Pete. Uh-huh. And then I mean, you know, Russ was like just a quarterback for me. Right. Yeah. You know I mean, so it wasn't as you that. didn't have no relation. You didn't have no kind of a relationship. Y'all didn't. Y'all didn't like go to a go go to a party. Y'all didn't get together. Y'all didn't do it. Y'all didn't kick it like that. <laughs> I mean, I mean. <laughs> I mean, even seven. I mean, seven would come to the room. Club Shay, you know, Club Shay Shay started in like a training camp in Denver. John would come to the room. We drank beer. We play cards. We roll dice. The guys play video games. We laugh and shoot the ish. We had that type of relationship with him. Well, I mean, Y'all, so the thing is, I mean, you know, to each you go. There's nothing. I, I like I I respect Russell as you know, feel me as a player and as a teammate. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, anything that I say. You feel me? Because of the situation, you know, throwing the pick on the goal line, not giving me the ball, this, then the third, him, you know, leaving from Seattle, you know, going over to – anything that I say is going to come off as, you know, malice or as if I'm, you know, a hater. or right. Because, I mean, you know what? I, You know, I, I, I'll take Russ, and I'll put him right there at quarterback, and I'll rock with him right. because I have done that. Right. But, I mean, you know, as far as anything else, it's like – it, there's Y'all no, didn't have a relationship outside of football. No, nah, there's no. I mean, it, can't right. pick up the phone and and, and, and call old oh right. boy or nothing. Right. And then I mean, you know. What you mean you couldn't pick up the phone? I mean, I, you, I don't got his number. Oh, oh, but, oh, but you would. I mean, but if you, you know. Uh, yeah, for sure. Right. For sure. I mean, you know, like I said, if you talk to any player that I play with, like, you know what I mean, I don't give a fuck if you're on a practice squad. You pick up the phone and you call me. You got something going on. You want to holler at me? Then I'm, I'm. What's up? Yeah. But I had a situation. Uh, you know, we was we was playing uh, against Tennessee, and they had. You know what I mean, they they secondary wasn't. They wasn't. Uh, they wasn't. You know, they wasn't good. And we were supposed to throw the ball for five hundred yards or some shit like that. And you know, uh, he didn't had a game. Russ didn't had a game that he wanted. And so, man, you know, after the game, I, I did pretty good. You feel me? Two tugs, 150 rushing, another 50 receiving. So after the game, you know, just all of the hype building up, you're supposed to do this and we're going to have it. It didn't work out that way. So, man, I, uh, you know, I reached out to our prayer personnel, dude, and I'm like, hey, man, uh, let me get Russ's number. Uh, call him, you know, holler at him. Like, oh, I'll call you back. So then, you know, he called me back like, hey, did you, you know, you get a call? I'm like, no. Nah. He's like, no, nah, Russ just said he called you. I'm like, no, nah, I got a call from a block number. He's like, oh, that's him. I'm like, oh. He blocked his number? <laughs> I don't know if he blocked it or if, I don't know how it went. I just know it, it got a call from a block number. So when I, uh, you know, I called back and I'm just like, hey, bro, you know, I ain't calling you as no, uh, you know, no, no, like no media shit. No, no, no fan, nothing. no stalker, none, bro. This is me. I'm a shit. teammate. Like, now I'm calling you. I'm telling you straight up. Like, I'm calling you on some some real nigga shit. Like, you know what I mean, I think this is one of the. I think this is the first time that I actually like, you know, tried to have a conversation with blood. So I'm like, yeah, you know, feel me? I know you didn't have a game that you wanted to have. I'm like, but look, check it out, nigga. That's what that's what I'm here for. And uh, you know, what I mean, and if you know the shoe on the other foot, I expect, you know, what I mean for it to be the same way. Right. Like, nigga, we got to, you know what I mean? I, I'm here for you. You here for me. You feel me? You let me know. And we go like, and his response to me kind of like was like, the fuck? What you, 
So I told him again, like, nah, bro, like, you know, I'm letting you know, like, nigga, I'm here for you, like, nigga, we gonna rock, you, you know what I mean? And his response was the same, so I kind of... So what exactly was his response? What did he say? We ain't gonna get into all that, man, you feel me? It was bad, huh? I mean, yeah, considering, you know... That you, you know reached mean, out. That we on the same team, going for the same goal, and, you know what I mean, this was how you chose to respond to me. It was more so like, maybe you don't understand what I'm saying, but at this point in time, when you talk about Club Shay Shay, I got the whole house full of everybody. Right. You know what I mean? I'm talking about wide receivers, DBs, fucking linebackers, uh, 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 kickers, like, you're the whole, the squad in here, we mind it. Yeah. So I'm, hey, oh, bro, you know what? Hey, man, I'm gonna holler at you a little later, man. I think that, I think the Patrinacy calling me right quick, man, I'm gonna I'm get with, and then I'm like, damn, so I thought I was tripping. So, you know, Josh, Josh quarterback, yeah. you feel me? I'm, I called Josh like, hey, cuz, like, man, I try to holler at bro, you feel me? And he kind of played me like this, like, but then, oh, you know, he, you know, Motherfucker just be different. I'm like, I get everybody different. I'm like, but I wasn't reaching out to be on no sucker shit. I was reaching out to let him know that I, mean, I got his back. And then if I'm not having the game that, you know, I was expected to have, I expect him to have my back type shit. Mm -hmm. And he just, man, you know, you know, quarterbacks be, you know, a little different. I'm like, nigga, you a quarterback. That's why I call <laughs> you. Right. You feel what I'm saying? Like, all oh, right, he tried to get me to explain it from, I mean, understand it from a different situation but yeah I mean it did well was the relationship always con it seemed like the Legion of Boom had some sort of a contentious relationship with Russ because they say Pete treated Russ different than he treated everybody else and then that's what I tell people all the time I say if the coach treats a player differently and the players see it they will grow to they will grow to resent said player I say I'm not telling you what somebody told me I'm telling you what I know that's a fact but I mean you know that 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 kicked off uh you know what I mean? We was had, it always like that? Or when, how did it get to how did it get to that? We had a situation in practice, and uh, you know what I mean, like being accountable was something big for us. Yes, that was that was probably the number one thing. That, that's the rock. That, that's the ethos. That's the foundation of which it's built. If I had a practice and uh, Pete wasn't holding them accountable, Sherm, you know what I mean, spoke up. Uh, uh, a couple of D linemen spoke up. And he called up practice. We went into this little, we call it the Kumbaya, Kumbaya room. We went in there to Kumbaya, and uh, Pete tell him like, hey, you know, uh, nobody go and talk to Russell. Uh, if, it, if, 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 if anybody got something to say to Russell, come talk to me, come talk to, you know, the quarterback, but nobody go and talk to him. And that was when that shit, yeah, you know I mean, where that where that started, because it was like, well, hold on. What you mean you can't talk to anybody? Can go in. You know what I mean, talk this, to this that kind of zone, yeah. this that kind of team. But you, you know, you kind of putting him. Yeah, you know I mean, on the pedestal or outside the. You know what I mean, outside of the the box, and it's like he not he don't have to be held accountable to the same shit that we do. What the fuck is that? And you know what I mean. Like I said, I I'm on the end where shit I. We play Sunday, right? Yeah. All right. Well, look, I'm gonna go and uh, I'm gonna go and get my body work and uh, get ready. I I see y'all motherfuckers on Sunday when it's time to get down. But uh, if it's something that y'all need from me in the meantime, y'all got my line. Hit me. Let me know. Yeah, you know I mean. But otherwise, you know what I mean. I ain't. All of that shit was. You know what I mean. Water under the bridge to me. You know what I mean? Cause that shit just didn't make no sense.